Hey, what's up guys on YouTube? This is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And this time I just want to talk once again about massive destructions in Cinema 4D 2024. You can already see that I had quite a lot of fun here with this cleaning robot in the supermarket. And he is just touching it a little bit, but then makes the decision to just ruin everything here. So this is one version with total chaos, but I also have another version for you here. So let's check out this one. Once again, you can see this robot is just making the decision here to just ruin everything. Okay, so he had just one job. And you can also see here that you get a beautiful simulation with Richard Buddies. All right, so I just enjoy how this one is almost melting to the floor. Okay, and you get a really realistic, beautiful behavior here. I just love that stuff. So this robot definitely doesn't like the tomato soup stuff, by the way. And I would say I will share some of the knowledge here with you on YouTube, but just be sure that on my Patreon, as always, you get like a 60 minute version here of Richard Buddy simulations in the supermarket. This one is also another lesson with advanced knowledge about rigid bodies. And just in case you are curious about how to build a cleaning robot, there is also a lesson for this one. And of course, a lot of other lessons. All right. So yeah, this is my Patreon and you can join for free, just like a lot of other members um, just join it. But just be sure that in the Knights tier, of course, you will get all of the tutorials and the benefits and you will also get all of the shop products in the Knights tier for free. Okay, so I think this is just a good offer. If you just want to stay up to date with your Cinema 4D skills, all right. This is me on Instagram, by the way, just in case you are interested in my latest artworks. And other than that, I would be more than happy if you support me on YouTube. Just ring the bell, do the good stuff, write a comment. That would be awesome. Okay. And now I would say let's finally dive into Cinema 4D. I just wanted to show you that the scene is really happening in Cinema 4D. Also, it's the same with this one. So I can just scrub through it and it looks amazing. Of course, I can scrub through it because it is cast free obviously okay but i think we want to start really from scratch here and build something especially for youtube this will of course be a short version because all of the other knowledge will take over an hour on patreon okay but i just want to keep this one really short for youtube but also give you some good knowledge so you can see i created a plane here put this one to eight by eight meters and i just want to make this reasonably dense because in my opinion this will help the rich body simulation all right so i will just put this one maybe to 16 meters meters here and put this one to 200. All right, this is looking good. Now I want to create some cubes instead of supermarket goodies to keep this one just a bit more simple. And maybe I want to have some stacked cardboards here where then a robot is running through and is destroying it. So I could start with a cube like this one. Okay. And just be sure that you want to have some good resolution on these ones. At least I think in my opinion that this one will just have the simulation. Okay. I even want to put this one to 10 by 10 and don't take these numbers too absolute here. Okay. Maybe that's too much and you want to reduce it a little bit. But for me, this is looking good. And I just want to already build my first cloner system here, put the cube into the cloner. And I think I want to start with a linear stacking here, just build a little tower here. Because when you build towers like this one and have all of them as rigid bodies, then jittering can occur like micro errors, which can destroy your simulation. Okay, so that can happen. So this is why I want to solve this issue right from the start. I know that my cube is 10 in the height, so I can probably put distance here to 10.2, for example. All right, this is looking good. Now let's just put a rigid body tag onto it. And I already know that this collision here is way too high, which is like an invisible margin around your object where the rigid body simulation is calculated. I can show you what will happen when I put a collider tag on the floor. And now let's simulate this. Then probably this one will explode. Okay. But yeah, a little bit of explosion here. You can see it in the beginning. This is just they are pushing away from each other because this distance is just too high. So I will put this one to 0 0.1. Now they will just fall onto each other. I think this is better. Okay, I'm actually quite satisfied with this one. All right, this is already working. So we don't really have to worry too much here. So I think now we can build another cloner system based on this one to create a bigger grid here. Therefore, I will just hold down Alt and put this one into a cloner. Now this tower will be set into a grid array like this one. I just want to move this one a little bit closer here. And I also want to set this one to endpoint. Now I can fill up the empty spaces here with maybe 
seven. All right, just move them a little bit closer like this. All right, let's see how many we can put into the length here. For example, 14. I think this is already looking nice. Okay, and this could be our object where our robot will run into and this will destroy it. So therefore, let's just pretend that this one is a little cleaning robot. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's move it over here. Press NB to see the subdivisions one more time. I want to put this one to 40, for example, and also want to give it some cap subdivisions like this one. Now let me just temporarily deactivate this one while I will create some keyframes here. From here, for example, in the X axis over there in, for example, 150 frames. Let's do it like this. Now we have some movement on our cleaning robot. This is looking nice. We also want to put collider tag onto it and now activate our boxes again. And hopefully when we let this one play, it will not explode and we get some beautiful simulation here. Let's just see this one. And this is looking promising. All right, it's not perfect because you can see some errors here. For example, I don't want to have that massive sliding on the floor. And also you can see that some of them are strangely levitating in the air. This is happening because some of the boxes which are just laying down in a stable position for too long will just be deactivated. And this is nothing that I want to do here. That's why I set the timer here to 200. So in the time of our simulation, nothing will be deactivated. That's good. I also want to go to the floor and set the friction maybe to two. And also on our boxes, the friction could be set to one, for example. And let's just see this one more time if this one is looking better. All right, still some sliding here but it is getting better here okay and of course and this is just a basic beginning here what you can do sadly you can see when i stack my tower up higher then we introduce more micro jittering and a little bit of destruction will already happen before a cleaning robot is catching up with it so sometimes it's just a little bit of a struggle to get a really clean simulation which will settle down without micro jittering and this is just a problem that can occur in your simulation when you stack too many objects on top of it and you will introduce more and more little micro errors in your system all right so this is a problem that i solve on my patreon but just to make this one a little bit more satisfying for you here. We can also try something else by putting this one to 10 by 10 and put this one to 100 or even 200 or 5 by 5 by 200. Let's just try to get something else here. And I think therefore I just need one cloner system like this one. Let's put it into it and we want to set this one to a grid array. Let's make this one closer. Let's do it like this. All right. And this time we also want to set this one to endpoint and just fill up the empty spaces. Let's do it like this. And and let's do it like that. All right, let's put the rigid body tag onto the cloner system. Let's kill the other cloner here. And I'm hoping that this one can also give you a beautiful result. Let's just see what will happen when I let the robot collide with it but you can see already we get strange errors here okay and this is because i'm just a bit stupid here all right so this one is going through the floor massively of course this will not work so let's just make this one a little bit shorter and let's try to position it on the floor hopefully this one is better let's see if our robot will collide with it you can see now we get a beautiful result here, which is also quite interesting. And I really like this one. Okay, so there you won't get any micro jittering here, which will occur, especially when you stack elements on top of each other. But as I said, I have a solution for this on my Patreon. But other than that, I hope that you already get some cool ideas for your collisions here with your cleaning robot. Just be sure that this idea you can definitely push further. All right, so this is just a basic beginning but you can see that this one is a little bit more satisfying here and I especially like this one with the cans here and yeah for me this is just so much fun okay so I hope that you learned something here just be sure to write a comment ring the bell do the good stuff see you on patreon bye everyone